That's about an inch and a half in diameter. That's solid hemlock. It's totally sound. You can see me scratch my fingernail on that. It's not punky at all. Totally sound hemlock wood. I did make a notch here. Um, I battened a notch just into the wood, just a little recess there that um, I'm going to come down on here, come down to I should say. So undo the lock. That's the biggest thing to remember with this is to always undo your lock. Okay, see where I'm going with that? Bring it back up. Okay. Not so bad. You could create a mortise and tenon joint or notches. I do like to shave off, to carve off that point on the top of the blade there or the butt of the handle. I don't like that digging into my hand. So that's how I customize all of mine. Um, wrap a towel with linseed oil soaked on it with a rubber band around it for a couple days. Let that linseed oil soak right in there. It's very comfortable to customize your handle that way. I just locked it back up after that very intense battening. And my lock is secure as ever. So by no means is the Opinel as efficient for um, bat battening as a fixed blade Mora or any other fixed blade. However, the point is for a folding blade with its battening capability and its nice thin blade, which is great for woodworking, in my opinion, the Opinel remains the best folding bushcraft knife.